<laughs> I love brunch. It isn't a meal, it's an occasion. <laughs> brunch doesn't identify as breakfast or lunch. It's more timing fluid than that. It's the meal equivalent of having one testicle and one ovary. I love getting together for brunches because it's a great way for me to not be productive during prime productive hours of the day. <laughs> I mean, I gotta eat, right? <laughs> even though I usually eat breakfast before I get to brunch, but what? I wake up hungry. It put me at a table on a sidewalk or a patio and I lose my mind. Like, <laughs> why don't we eat every meal this way? I'll have like an oat milk latte, but instead of an oat milk, can you just like substitute in horse milk? <laughs> There's a couple of reasons why you'd invite someone to brunch. One is you're the type of person that's too lazy to get up for breakfast, so breakfast can't work for you. And you know you're unreliable, so keeping a commitment later in the day is out can't do it. So brunch is a sweet spot where you can maintain your lazy mornings while keeping your unaccountable afternoons open for yourself. <laughs> brunch. Another reason is it's like saying you're not worth me getting out of bed for breakfast and you're definitely not worth being the focal point of my day for lunch or dinner. So let's get together not too early. You're not worth it to me but also not into the afternoon either because you don't matter enough. So let's do it mid-morning. That gets you out of my way so I can still enjoy the good part of my day. <laughs> I love brunch. So it's like saying to a person, if there's half an avocado in the fridge, you're the brown part that I scrape off into the trash so I can enjoy the good part. <laughs> That's what you are to me in my day. Brunch is a perfect occasion for people to get together who are inherently shallow to gossip about other people so we can feel like our lives have purpose. Is that just tap water? Are you freaking kidding me? Ew. It's like three meals a day. 74% <laughs> of Americans are too fat. I think we can do better than that. So here's a fourth meal of the day, boom. Brunch. <laughs> and it's the trendiest meal of the day, so I'm down for the cause. I only do brunch with people I don't like because I don't like myself, so we get along really well. Is this cold coffee or is this cold brew? <laughs> a mimosa? Don't mind if I do, it's brunch. <laughs> I always order a mimosa. <laughs> Add orange juice to alcohol so it looks like I don't have a problem. Yes, please. If you drink at breakfast, your life's falling apart. But if you drink at brunch, <laughs> You're just having fun. It's fun. Don't be a party pooper. Have one. Have one. Have one. Have one. I have an unreasonable level of excitement anytime someone wants to order a mimosa with me. <laughs> it makes me feel so naughty. It's like, I know it's not good for me, but I really enjoy it. Hmm. It's kind of like anal. At brunch, we just like to chat, which means we make an obnoxious level of noise for the people all around us. We're just chatting. It's like clapping your hands like this. Except we do it with words that carry even less intelligence. After a couple of mimosas, I'll order my final mimosa. <laughs> this gives me a savage blood sugar crash by early afternoon. I just want to lay around. But gives me a good justification for not doing anything with my life. Yeah, I'd like avocado toast. It's brunch. Sign me up. <laughs> as long as it costs at least $18. Because it's not just bread, avocado, and some spices. It's flatbread, avocado, and some spices. That makes it more of a boutique experience, doesn't it? Avocado toast is like the mascot of brunch, and the logic of it is impeccable. Putting something wet and mushy on top of something else that will turn wet and mushy makes so much sense to me. You get the perfect contrast of two mushy textures that are the same that complement each other beautifully. <laughs> and throw in some tiny heirloom tomato slices and I'll pretend it matters. Why, yes, I would like an egg on top for $7. When the server comes over, I ask a minimum of two pretentious questions. <laughs> and they're not for me. They're to create a show for the people around me to make them think I'm more self-responsible with my eating choices than I am. Does the toast have gluten in it? Oh, it does? Hmm, I'm a little offended that you'd make your toast out of bread. Wow, I really thought they'd have some other options. Do your omelets have eggs in them? I eat meat, but I identify as a vegan. I only eat really clean. So I'll just have the artisan pancakes with the extra powdered sugar and a bowl of bacon grease on top. <laughs> Two food sensitivity questions later and I abandon my food morals that I never had and just order what I want. You get together for brunch with someone when you want to manipulate them in some way, but you want to do it under the guise of friendship. The one thing I love more than ordering food at brunch is overly discussing what food I'm going to order. <laughs> it's so interesting. Talking about what's on the menu in front of us that we can both see clearly is more superficial than discussing the weather and I like it. I wonder if they have acai bowls. Do you like acai? I don't know. There's just something great about making a conversation out of what food we're gonna order. We can both act like we've never faced the obstacle of having to order and then eat food. So I'm ready to deep dive on the topic. Get together at 11 a.m. for brunch on Sunday, brilliant idea. Then we get there, oh, 
There's an hour and a half wait to get in? <laughs> no problem. I'm dumb enough that I'm surprised by that. And I'm empty enough that I'm happy to spend all my time waiting on the sidewalk like a refugee so I can eventually have a mid-afternoon brunch. I'm not here for the meal, I'm here for the experience. <laughs> I love living the brunch life. A long wait to get into a brunch is like a long line to get into a club. And I'm empty inside that I'm happy to wait in both. I like food that makes my fingers sticky. As a metaphor, brunch is like getting colon hydrotherapy at a boutique spa with essential oil infused celery juice while you're drinking an elixir that you don't know the purpose of, but it does have an umbrella in it with cucumber slices over your eyes. <laughs> Good luck not spilling your elixir or your bag of poop. <laughs> brunch. Hey there, my friend. Just want to remind you, you can check out my all new Freedom line of merch on my website, wakenwithjp.com.